what's going on guys today we're going to be talking about constants or constants so what these are is these are basically basic values in the engine that will represent uh, different things and be sort of can be used in mathematical values or equations sometime in the future when you get used to using them but for now we're going to be going over just the basics of sort of what they do and i'm going to be plugging them into base color emissive color maybe metallic just to demonstrate sort of their different effects so these are all five of them and i'm going to show you how to get each one of them in very very simple the shortcuts vary from just one to four and left clicking so if we hold one and left click we get the one constant two left click we get two constant three left click we get three constant and four and left click and we get four constant if you can't remember the shortcut for these you can right click and as long as you remember the name of them you can get them through here and our last one that i haven't gotten yet is the constant double now i'm not really going to be looking at this one because this is essentially the exact same thing as our one constant but from what i've looked up it's just more accurate and it's basically a 64 bit instead of a 32 bit so i'm not going to be looking at that one today if you also again forget the name of them and you don't even so you forget the name and shortcut you can start scrolling through in this panel here to try to find them and you can still use this as a um a type and I like typing it in to find it and it will take the shortcuts to the right of them so i could drag it in that way so the first one we want to look at is one constant so one constant is basically just a normal uh floating point it's just a number with as many decimal points as you want it's just a representation and again you can use it in more mathematical formulas in your shaders but when we're looking at very basic setups if i were to plug this into base color and have it the value of zero we're going to get black because zero is nothing value of one we're going to get white and anywhere in between so 0.2 we're going to get gray 0.4 lighter gray 0 0.6 0 0.8 and our you know 0 0.999 oh that's not 0 0.9 0 0.999 and we're going to get the closest to white instead of just typing one now when it comes to setting up materials um this can be used in very basic ways like if i just wanted to make my material let's say metallic set that to the value of one it's one left click to get another constant in set this one to 0.5 and we're going to have a very basic metal but we're going to be looking at more setting up materials in our next tutorial this is just looking at the constants. so let's remove that one now looking at our two constant this is basically so when we're looking at the more constants, is basically what they're doing is they're having multiple uh, values attached to them so this only has one value because it's a one constant two has two values three values four values so in this one our values are represented as x and y which come through as red and green as you can see by the dots on them so if i were to take our point out into base color and i change x which is represented by red to the value of one we'll get a red material if i put that back to zero and turn y to one we'll get green and if I put both of them to one we're going to get basically them combined to get a yellow you can take out the separate points so if i wanted to go okay we want base color for example at the value of one so we want it to be white and we also want it to be metallic at the value of one we'll have a white metal object then i could turn down for example our x value and we can make it darker and we're using this with just one node instead of using two one constants to achieve a very similar effect now i rarely use a two constants but this they've got uh several uses in other cases so the one i use the most is probably a three constant and a one constant because one constant is your normal value so when i'm doing some mathematical uh, formulas just adding some values in is really nice and also if i just want to represent like metal quickly i could throw that in but you've also got a three constant a three constant is basically so you'll have this minimized is basically just your color it's just a basic color at least when it comes to the art side again you've basically got three separate points on this that you can use maths for or use them to uh, do some equations and stuff but when it comes to the art side if you're just looking to set up a basic color just go into your wheel let's say we want actually let's go for a nice orange yeah that's a nice solid orange if we plug in the base node into the base color we'll get an orange and again you can separate these out so like the x is value of one for example so that'll come through as white but in most cases, you're just going to use this as just a way to assign color, right? Lastly, we have a four constant. Now, this one I basically never use because, again, you can use it as four separate nodes. But if I were to use it as color, 
It's the same sort of setup as using a free constant. The only difference is you've also got alpha values, which means if I set the alpha value to a certain value, let's say 0.7, and I did set up transparency, and I were to connect our, uh, our alpha to opacity, we can now tell it to be you know, somewhat opaque or somewhat transparent while also using it to apply our color. I would most likely, if I want to do this myself, just use a color map and then use a one constant to assign our transparency that way. However, it's up to you how you want to set that up. If you're just making basic materials, you can do it sort of however you want. And that's basically how you work with the um, sort of original Ford notes. With the one constant or with any of these, you can go above the values I showed you. You can go above the value of one, but certain inputs are uh, capped. For example, the base color, if I were to put that to one, apparently I can't type, and we turn off our transparency, we'll have a white, and if I set that to 100, it'll still be white because it's clamped at one. But if we were to attach it to emissive color, emissive can go above the value of one, and we'll start getting a nice glow. If I set it to five, you'll get that glow reduced, and yeah. And that's basically sort of the introduction to um, what constances are and kind of how they can be used. We'll be looking at them a bit more in depth in the future, but these are the one constant and the free constant are nodes you're going to be using all the time when making your shaders. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next video where we look at setting up basic materials. Bye-bye.